What's up, Troublemakers? Moltro with Rumble Lab here, back with another episode of the best stuff this week. As always, I'm just going to give you a little bite, and if you want more, everything's linked in the description below. If you like this video, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, feel free to give me a little... What are you waiting for? Let's jump right into it. Probably the most impressive thing I saw was from Drew Pilcher. He made an autonomous anti-drone turret using a Nerf gun. Tabletop Whale made a beautiful orbital map of the solar system that you can buy and download. Obviously, it's not to scale, but it's still really cool. The Hacksmith reinvented their hydraulic alien crusher. A scuba diver cracks an egg underwater. Someone on Reddit posted a super cool GIF showing an unknown phenomena that scientists call crown shyness, where different species of trees grow so that they don't touch each other. And then the winner of the Lego Ideas Contest was picked, which means we'll hopefully be seeing a Lego International Space Station kit in the future. Another awesome thing that happened this past week is DJI released the Rogue Robomaster S1, which is absolutely crazy. It has lasers, a cannon, and can follow people around and shoot them. They say it's meant to be educational and you can program it to do stuff. Now, if I was a kid, I would use the education part in a three-phase plan to get one. Phase one, put on a tie because ties make you look serious. Phase two, engage dad. You have to sound as sophisticated as possible and you're pitching him on the educational benefits. Phase three, let dad engage mom because dad secretly wants one of these too. And just like that, in no time, I'm playing with my brand new Robomaster S1. Anyway, what do you think? How would you use it? Would you just drive it around and shoot at people and things and cats and dogs? Or would you try and program it to do other stuff? Let me know in the comments below. You ready for rapid fire round two? Let's go. Veritasium filled his pool with 10,000 shade balls and then try swimming in it. JPL shows us how they plan to make oxygen on Mars. Frank Zhao makes a computer aquarium. Peter Sreeple jumps his Robomaster over fire and then attaches a rocket launcher to it. I Like to Make Stuff gave us plans to build a safe axe throwing setup. Bruce Yaney, the coolest science teacher ever, is back with the sand pendulum. Nicodem does injection molding with a hot glue gun. James Brunton tries the Iron Man jet suit to help him with his mini Iron Man jet suit. Maker's Muse creates some whistling 3D printed tops. Some guy on Reddit makes an auto soup cooler. And Mr. B hits the 20 million subscriber mark. No, but really, he hit the 20 million subscriber mark, which means it's trees. trees. Lots of trees, 20 million trees. He hasn't said anything yet, but Mark Robert did just tweet this photo, which means Beast went out to visit him, AKA it's happening. Stay tuned, we'll let you know if we see anything new. This week's hilariousness award goes to this cow baby. And this week's challenge is inspired by William Osmond because he finally won his own egg drop challenge. So this week we're gonna do a William Osmond egg drop challenge. If you're interested and you accept the challenge, check out the description, there's more info below. I'm gonna try it, I'll show you how it goes next week. So yeah, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell next to it if you haven't already. And we'll see you this time next week. Peace. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about the, no, I said the hilariousness award. We're good. We're good. I'll see you next week. Peace. Bailey, you want a treat?